Penn Medicine's transplant program is celebrating 55 years since its first transplant in 1966. That's more than 12,500 solid organ transplants. And tonight, Alicia Reed introduces you to the team's lead surgical physician assistant who's on the move when life hangs in the balance. When you guys are sleeping, we're working. In the middle of the night or wee hours of the morning, Georgine Smith and her team are more than likely on a mission where every minute counts. Someone that dies of a stroke, someone that's in a car accident, someone in a motorcycle accident. I've had a patient that was in a fire, asthma. And sometimes even a drug overdose. But once the call comes in, Smith, Penn's lead surgical physician's assistant, and a small team will load into a car, chopper, or jet to the donor's hospital, carefully removing the precious organ within 40 minutes to an hour. This is the most critical step in the transplant. Smith harvests a myriad of organs, but liver procurement is her specialty. While she's away working, a team back at Penn is prepping. If the transplant surgeon is on the phone with you and it says, you know, can I put my patient to sleep? Is this organ good and I can put my patient to sleep because we're going to put it in if you say it's good? You have to know what you're doing. There's a lot that goes into the perfect fit, including quality and size. If it's not going to fit, it's not going to fit and has to go to somebody else. Smith has seen patients transform from their deathbeds to a new chance at life. As she reflects on her years flying back and forth from the hospital's rooftop, she gets emotional when paying respect to donors and their generous gift of life. This gives an opportunity for this person's story to continue. Smith believes donors are superheroes. She says none of this would be possible without their help. Now, although lofty, her wish is that anyone in need of an organ will get one. That is why living donors are also critical. Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And if you would like information on how to become an organ donor, we found a few websites that can help you. You can find the links on our website, cbsphilly.com.